Hey, good morning. This is May Valensky with Driving Markets. Remember, anything said in this piece is for media publication only. It's an opinion. It's not financial advice. I don't know where the markets are going. I'm not a prophet. I'm not. No one can identify whether they're going to go up or down. It's purely an opinion. Okay, a couple of things just regarding driving markets. Um, obviously, the idea is to be talking about markets while driving. So driving while talking about markets. But it doesn't always happen, as some viewers have stated very clearly, that it looks like I'm stationary correct. Because sometimes when I'm driving, the road's very, very bumpy. And there's other viewers are complaining that it's too bumpy when I'm driving along. So I can't really satisfy everyone see the bumpy or not bumpy but the idea behind it is to be driving while talking about markets that's why i called it driving markets okay some of the viewers are complaining that the camera shot or the um, actual image is not clear enough hopefully that's clear enough i'm going backwards and forwards and that will hopefully satisfy some viewers so we've got to we've got to sort out the bumpiness. We've got to sort out the fact that I'm driving. We've got to sort out the fact that the camera. There's a lot of comments coming backwards and forwards. So I can't really satisfy everyone. But the general idea is to be driving while talking about markets. However, sometimes I do do it in a studio, or I do it at home, or I do it while stationary. But that's just a side point all right so can we kick off now everyone happy yes all right let's kick off okay so markets continued on friday their upward run from the impressive inflation numbers that came out in the u.s on friday on thursday they were lower than expected and um, the dollar went down significantly and interestingly interestingly one to look at is the pound dollar which is called cable gbp us dollars called cable uh, that had the biggest rise since 1993 to make a note of that and uh, the pound was massively oversold under the um crisis with the liz truss and uh kwateng and that actually quasi kwateng the chancellor of the exchequer that sent the pound and the bonds reeling uh, subsequently rishi sunak and Jeremy, Rishi Sunak, the Prime Minister, and Jeremy Hunt, the new Chancellor, seem to have stabilised things, and the pound could go higher against the dollar, just just purely because the pound was oversold. Generally, across the board, there was last week some dollar weakness. The question is now, where do we go from here? Because the inflation numbers are out there. It obviously has been in the market now. So the question is, are equity markets going to rise? And is the dollar going to continue falling? Well, it all depends on corporate numbers. If we're going to get good corporate earnings this week. Then you're going to see equity markets rise further. Corporate earnings in the States, I'm talking about. You're going to have equity markets going rising further and the dollar falling. In the States, you've got all of the major retailers reporting this week metal box you've got target you've got um other companies can't remember what they are at the moment but you've got a lot of retailers that are reporting this week and that will give you an indication idea where the consumer is at where the consumer is at also take into account that now leading up to christmas what you're going to have I don't know if you're allowed to say the word Christmas now because of being politically liberal, progressive, all those other things. But I'm saying the word Christmas. No doubt I'm going to get batted by the progressive and the liberals that you're not allowed to use that word because it can be offensive. We're leading up to the December holidays, Hanukkah and Christmas. You could have a um, you could have a um, offer out by the retailers so the retailers could come out and make sales earlier in order to capture all of that business going towards the december holidays okay to satisfy those progressive and liberal individuals so you could have the a break coming on the december whereby the retailers could offer discounts going forward and put the sales a bit earlier to try and attract that consumer that will impact on equity markets also and what else do you have you've got um, looking at the crypto market, wow. Remember last week I said to you already on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday that when, um, especially Thursday, Friday actually, when Bitcoin jumped up to jumped up 1,700 points or something in one day, went to 17,500, I said it's a sell. It's all the way back down to 15,800. The FTX debacle, which is the second biggest crypto exchange, was the second biggest crypto exchange in the world. Uh, it's completely collapsed. Uh, Sam Bankman-Fried, which was the uh, CEO at one stage, was worth around about 30 billion 
dollars. Hard to believe, but that's true. The whole lot's gone kaput. There's a whole load of shenanigans gone in there where they've dipped into clients' accounts and they've used money on Alameda, which is a leveraged trading platform, and they've moved money backwards and forwards. And we don't know if he's on the run, not on the run, where he is, Bahamas, not Bahamas, South America. But that sent a complete tsunami shockwave across the crypto industry. And you will see many more platforms going bust, and that's going to add further instability to the crypto sector. Um, expect Bitcoin. I've always been saying the whole year, if you watch the YouTubes, watch driving markets, watch my Instagrams, I've been saying the whole year Bitcoin's going to 15,000 by the end of the year. Well, actually, it's going to 10,000 by the end of the year, in my opinion. One viewer said, uh, what's your view? Are you certain? I said, no, I'm not certain. I don't give advice. That's my opinion only that Bitcoin is going to $10,000. So even though I come over as assertive, even though I come over as direct i'm telling you what my opinion is if you act on it make money great and if you don't then don't come back to me and say but this is what you said because i'm not a prophet i don't understand really where the markets are going on a daily basis it's not fair to say i know when warren buffett doesn't know himself and he's one of the number one trader in the world looking a little bit at commodities well gold i would expect i was expecting to go and test up to the 1800 dollar level if equity markets move up, then you expect gold and precious metals to move up higher as the week goes on. Um, oil is going to stay around about the 90, 90 to 95 level. OPEX not going to allow it to fall. And you could see over the winter months actually it rise further. If it rises further and energy prices continue to rise, that's obviously going to impact inflation. Inflation is going to go up and then you're going to have more hawkish statements from the Fed and other central banks. And they're going to look to raise interest rates further. So in the short term or near term, I expect a little bit of dollar weakness, a continuing rising in equity markets till they reach their top. And then when they reach their top, which will be probably another couple of hundred points or 300 points on the Dow, um, they're gonna, you're going to see um, a significant downturn, a lot of profit taking, and the Dow could fall anywhere between one and a half and 2,000 points very, very quickly, because we're still in a bear market. And with a rising cost of money and poor liquidity, that's going to impact overall on purchasing power of the individual and obviously of the investor uh, bonds came back to give to you last month last week they came all the way the 10-year treasury came back to 3.8 as fears of inflation receded and the chance of rising interest rates dropped off as well that also caused a lot of joy uh, however you'll expect bonds to continue rising up because they haven't broken the downtrend and you can expect bonds 10-year treasury over the next two to three months to rise back again to 4.3 4.4 um, mortgage rates are um, also going to stay well above the six and a half percent they're not going to come down in the near future and that's going to have a big impact on homeowners and um, that's more or less it what I'd like you to say is subscribe share with friends let's get the channel popular get onto Instagram also um, I do have an Instagram channel that I do feeds and reels on a regular basis but what I'm looking for is subscribers, what I'm looking for is comments, what I'm looking for is what you want to see on driving markets and any ideas how to develop and push it. I think it's unique and I think we can really make this a massive channel. But we need you and need your help to get out there and push it. Okay, have a good day. Speak to you soon.